Hey folks, it's Trouble Coils, and welcome back to our Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. This is our God King campaign part 39, last we left off. Well, we had a, we had a, we had a pretty good run against the uh, Kuzites here, and we've actually almost pushed them entirely out of the Empire lands. Speaking of, we took in Lakana Castle, we took in Prola Castle, Jorgas, and Absinosa. Really, only one more territory of the Empire is left in Kuzite hands, and that was Cyrtos. I was entrusting that to the AI to take it, but I guess they abandoned the siege. Really, the castle only has, like, what, 102 defenders? So, frankly, it's not going to be too hard of a siege. Now, one thing that did happen towards the end of the episode, the Sturgians declared war on us, and frankly, I don't want to fight them just yet. I do want to finish off the Kuzites before we move on to the Sturgians, because I want to finish off one enemy go to the next. So, frankly, if the Sturgians want a decent amount of money for this, I'm going to go ahead and give it to them. I really... I mean, that's a terrible deal, but I'm going to do it regardless, because... It's going to keep them from declaring war on us again. Through paying them 6,000, it's not going to make them want to return to war. And it's the reason why the Batanians and it's the reason why the uh, the Vendians have not returned to war with us is because we're paying them so much money. I know it's a bit of a detriment to our vassals and whatnot, but since we have, we're getting more and more. It's not going to make too much of a difference. And eventually we'll go back to war with all of these people to, you know, clear our debts of them. We're actually paying the Asurai for whatever reason. I don't know why they even... Yeah, it's still need money, but we'll see how that goes. Um, let's go ahead and finish off what we started, this war that we came here to finish. Now, I don't know what Sikonis' army is doing, but I have a very important thing to take care of, and it's called taking Cyrtos Castle. Because as soon as we take Cyrtos, I can officially say that we've liberated the uh, Empire territories from the Kuzites. Now, I don't really know what the Kuzites are doing down here. We have a whole border, essentially a whole edge, and I'm not really sure what's happening with it. I'm kind of... I'm a little scared about this lower quadrant because we I'm going to be focusing much of my efforts on the north here and then kind of moving down south as we go. But yeah, one thing I do need to do here is see if I can find either, you know, Illitar, pretty much any of the, <laughs> any clan from the Kuzites actually would work out in terms of making them our vassals because um, they all have really large clans, either children-wise or member-wise, so we can really work with it. There's like only one clan I can think of that maybe doesn't have that much, but even then it's still got four members, so it's kind of, it's all right to work with. Um, let's go ahead and get started with what we want. Cyrtos Castle, first and foremost, folks, and believe me, once it's taken, oof, we're going to be doing fine. I did originally say that I was going to spend some time to really uh, let these areas get built up in like garrisoned properly so they can't counterattack or sneak behind us to actually t attack. Um, I'm going to build only one siege tower here because I want this to be a quick siege. I don't want this to be a long siege, especially since I don't have 100 food left. That's only going to last me, what, four days? Yeah, four days of food. It's not a whole lot. So we're only going to build the one siege tower. going to do our typical one siege tower, one ladder thing. I'm not even going to build a battering ram this time. I don't see a reason to. It's just not going to work out, I think, is the way that we want it to. Um, and yeah, I think we're I think we're good to go. As soon as this loads in, folks, we're going to have a nice a little fun time, a little massacre. Mm, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Let me. I gotta. You just heard me open a drink. It's my little ice. I'm oh, sorry. Mm. I gotta say, folks, the sparkling ice drinks, fantastic. They are honestly probably one of my favorite drinks. I just like them. I really do. Like, there's not a single flavor yeah. of those I do not enjoy drinking. Sparkling ice. It's not. <laughs> I can't have a sponsor yet, folks. I'm not even at five subscribers, but um, I like that. I just like to say it. it's just well, sparkling ice. Get you, get you, get your throat quenched. <laughs> I don't even know what that's a terrible slogan, Jesus Christ. My horse is probably in the way here, but that doesn't matter. Hello, horse. I need you to move. You can, if you just want to stay right there, you'll probably be safe right there. I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We've already scored two kills in this. They have literally only 100 defenders left. Uh, I just hit him on the way down, so bye-bye. Um... Where the... Why are, the, why are they just all down there? I mean, like, I'm gonna just get you off of this then. But why are you guys? Where's the? Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna go down since they're all just kind of holding down there. They just didn't really seem to want to. Um... Oh shit! What the? When the God King is so fast, he actually overshoots the thing. Jesus! I'm just gonna kill these guys before they can reinforce the walls. I don't know why these guys actually are on the walls. That's what confuses me. Okay, yeah, hitting three of them at once is a uh, satisfying, satisfying feat. These guys are all coming over to take the position now. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna... Ow. 
I did a lot of damage. I think every time I kill someone, they're going to keep sending people over to try garrisoning in their place, so... Let's just kill people here. That works out. I think... Well, if they stop hitting me, that would work out. Jesus, okay. Well, he's dead. They're going to send him at me. Come on. I need you guys to not come closer. I need you to just accept the fate and die. I'm trying to just make this quick. We're taking two deaths, a legionary, and a female warrior. I'm just breaking shield at this point. It's just annoying. Just please. There they go. There's the massive break I was looking for. Pretty much just, like, destroys their numbers. Okay. So it's just these guys who would all head up went over here to now try to <laughs> reprotect the place they already just lost. Uh, let's see. Go can we finish here. Hey, buddy. I need you to... Uh oh Pieces of shit. Fucking hurt. Let's get to our one-hander here because we are in a close quarters and a close room. Which I don't want to end up hitting the wall consistently over and over again. Which tends to happen a good amount. Who... Who am I hitting? Who's, who's enemies here? I'm just kind of swinging and hoping the best. I really can't tell. It's too dark. It's too dark in this room. Hey guys, how you doing? I need you to die. Crushing skulls in here. There's eight of you left. Scratch that. Seven of you left. So where are the reminders then? Huh? We have another two here. I'll work with this. See ya. Gotta kill you. Gotta crack your skulls open. Anyone in here? No. Wait, wait where are the survivors actually? It's like four of them. I don't see anyone over here. I don't see one down there. Where are the last guys? Where's the rest of my troops, actually? Everyone, attack! I, I, the archers, they're just... They're just taking the sweet time to get up... Uh, okay, probably us closing the gates, or not opening the gates. Might be contributing to the very slow siege time. Okay, uh... Is that a friendly I just passed? I literally cannot tell. Let's face us, that is one... That's my, that's my younger brother. That's the younger brother. Yeah, why did we not open these gates sooner? I don't know why he didn't do this. This would have been like one of the first things I should have done. <laughs> okay. Alright, two two infantry losses, which is just pretty typical at this point, is to lose one or two each battle. Each battle. I've got 60 plus uh, words. Oh no, that was my last one. That was the last prisoner. Oh uh, no, I have 60. I was going to say I have 60 plus... Um, I can't even find the word I'm looking for. Legionaries. I, You would think I would know what the troop is named after playing this game for, I want to say, over 100 hours now. I don't even know how much time I've put into this game. But yeah, we're pretty much just going to, with that taken, Sirito's Castle. This goes to Penton. He is a very wealthy man next to Jorgon here in Sakarta. He is, he is, he's looking pretty rich. He's looking pretty good. Meanwhile, I, we just see that, fuck this guy, Mr. Caladog. I wonder, is Caladog still alive? He is still kicking. Okay. Sometimes the leaders will die, but Penton, congratulations, you're now in control of the entirety of, like, the eastern half of the Northern Empire. You, uh, you, you've certainly gone up. It took you quite a lot to get you to come over to my side, but you know what? Let's just hope that stays that way. But now we need to find Mesui. Mesui is an individual who is of great importance to me, and frankly, is someone I really want to talk to. I just don't know where she is. And so, this is at this point in time where I actually just might quickly declare peace with them, just to just to circumvent my own rule here. I do want my people to actually garrison these uh, these cities real quick or these castles and stuff because it is a bit um, it is a bit they're they're all a bit undefended. They're not that's not like they're poorly garrisoned. I just want to make sure that they're all properly garrisoned because we did just recently take Epsonosa, which has only a garrison of seventy six. And obviously nothing there. And even this garrison here could use a bit more. And the militia can use some time to build up. I don't know how much time I'm going to give it. But frankly, I'm going to give myself at least enough time to find Mesui. And just teleport around to take care of this before we go to war. Just speed things up here. Again, I don't know if she's actually going to be here. But it's going to be worth a check. Is she in this castle? Yeah, she's not in the city. But where is she going to be? Balticon. So Balticon is... Where is... No? Balticon apparently is in the city, but she is not where... I'm being lied to. She isn't in the city. So I actually don't know where she is. Okay, well that's weird. Hopefully she'll pop up somewhere else then. Let's see who else we can find though. There's going to be a few other people who we can talk to, see if we can pull them over to our side. Um, Mr. Tulog here, again, wouldn't even be a bad guy. He's actually got a pretty decently sized... He's got two people who are dead. I don't even know how he died. I don't even see how he died. 58... I think these guys just died of age. Oh, he was 79 years old. Wow, he was old. Okay, so they probably just died of age. I think. Huh. 
Interesting. Okay. His father was cute. Oh, he's like the grandson. So this was his... Wait, no. He's the... No, he's just the younger. He's just another son. I was going to say, that was like his... I thought he was his grandson. But yeah. This wouldn't be a bad clan. So I'm going to see if I can find this individual here. I don't know if he's last seen. Apparently, I think he was last seen at Hortangan today. So let's see if we can find him here. Do another little... Little teleportation. Looking for a very important individual. All right, what's his name? Tulag. We're looking for Tulag. Is he in the keep today? No, he is not. So I've been lied to yet again. Can I see him nearby at all? This is not Kulag. That's that's Kaida. Kada, Kada, whatever, whatever his name is. Okay, we're going to just keep teleporting around until we can find the guys that we want to find. I think that's the best way, we, best thing we can do to speed up the process of trying to recruit people. At the same time, I want to make sure so like the game actually plays while I teleport. Let's see. She uh, she in any place different now? Still last seen in Balticon. I don't know if that's still true. But we're going to give it some time here. Maybe it's a lie. Maybe it's the truth. I cannot know for sure. So the garrison for that castle has already gone up pretty much. That garrison's gone up another 10. I don't know about the city, but it's still kind of worth it to check every now and then. Uh, where is Mesui? She would think she would be here, but I just don't see her anywhere I go. It's a little disturbing. What about the step bandits over there? Don't know why. I swore at one point we I saw the step bandits got destroyed, but maybe I saw the desert bandits. I don't remember. I don't even know if they're a clan or not. I don't know the <laughs> legitimacy of that. Hmm. Where is everyone? I want to talk to people, but they just don't exist. Oh, we're starving. Let's fix that real quick, folks. Oh, I'm in the city. I can't. <laughs> I love how you can teleport to places where you actually can't, like, realistically move to. So you just, you just get stuck. So let's go ahead and buy some food from the city because I need some food. And I'm going to buy all their grain and all their fish and all their grapes and their olives and their butters and their meats. I'm going to buy it all, baby. I'm going to become a very wealthy man. I'm buying so much food. He's even some beer, too. Some cheese. Mmm. That's what you like to see, folks. Some cheese. Perfect. Beautiful. Now we have more than enough food. We'll never starve again, folks. We'll never starve again. Who are you? Ooh, Ilotar. Okay, so Ilotar, an individual who probably doesn't really like us at the moment, because I can only imagine why he... I couldn't really blame him for not liking us. We did just take, like, three, four territories of his. I actually don't even know what a relationship is like with him. Um... Frankly, I guess I'm going to have to tell by just talking to him. So he is at zero with us, interestingly enough. I thought actually he would hate us a bit more. I'm actually going to wait on talking to him because I don't want to ruin the chance. When I actually do have... That's not Yatami's army. Is she... I don't want... I just want to see if... Okay, I'm going to move in front of him here. No one... In... Okay, no one's in here I wanted to talk to. So where is... Not Yatami. Where is your... I am being lied to on a near daily basis. She's not here. She's I she is not here. I'm just gonna have to check every single city to find this is like this is like where's Waldo in the world of Calradia. I just can't find the people I want to talk to. You would think she would be somewhere, but like the game is just not telling me the proper stuff. I'm being consistently lied to. She's not at Balticon. That is a, a lie and a half. Alright, we're gonna teleport over here. Still no one who I want to talk to, unless this is him. No, that's Kaida's party. Am I just, am I just like, am I just going crazy? Like, I, I just feel like I need to find one person. Any, any person really would be fine at this point. But they're just like, nah, chief, we just don't exist. I'm like, all right, cool. And they're like, listen, bro, come back like 10 hours later. Maybe we'll be here still. Like, who are gone? Last thing to ask your castle one day ago. I don't see him anywhere near this area. No one's over here I need to talk to. But... W Jigur? Do I need to talk to you? I don't know who you are. You owner? No, I don't even need to talk. Yo, he's got so. That's a wife of him. God, they have so many kids. Akram, how are you doing, buddy? You have a lot of kids too. Where are you at? Odok, one day ago. Why do I get the feeling you're not even over here either? It's <laughs> Where are the people I need to talk to? They just don't exist. This is. They just don't exist, folks. I don't know. My confusion. No nose end. Or no, no ends. Talsur, Kaida, again, no one I need to speak to. And it's just like, hey, guys, where are you all at? I need to find you. I need to talk to you. Herong, hey, buddy. Oh, and Akram, the two guys who I do need to talk to. Relationships with these guys are really good because I've let a lot of their units go in the past. So, hey, buddy, listen. Yeah, I did take Epsonosa Castle. Your, your one guy, your one friend isn't too happy with that. But listen, I need to talk to you. I need to try persuading you. Before I do that, let me take a quick drink of my... Ah, good. Delicious. Ever so delicious. 
Hey, buddy. Listen, I think you have a... You, you, we need to discuss about something. Mo Chung, you guys were doing pretty well against Northern Empire. I, I admit, Mo Chung was a good leader. Well, I'm a better one. I'm not saying he was bad, but join the guy who's going to bring Calradia together. I'm not even going to get rid of your cultures. I think all cultures should be allowed. I think culture should be mixed together, if anything, and to make a superior culture. I think we should just unify like a ni nice big melting pot. I think that's the best way to put it. So, you know what, you Kuzites, I feel like you're horse riding. You guys can make the best horse archers in all the world. I hand, I'll hand that to you. That's what you have the best. All right. And I'm, I'm gonna, listen, I want your support. 92% will take that. We will take that 92%. All right. We'll take this easy 83%. You did give an oath, but Mo Chung is not known for keeping his word. He is a liar, after all. He's a liar and a scoundrel. And put your interests in the good of the realm first. Huron, the Huron Nag knows what he's doing. He knows what's up. I believe in Huron Nag. I believe in this man. Listen, I can't pull you over just yet, because you have a lot of you have cities that are worth a lot of money. But don't worry, I'll come back for you. Now I just need to find. He's up there, Akram. How do I get up to you, Akram, my friend? Where are the stairs? Wait, where are the stairs? Hold on, where are the stairs? Back up. How do I get up there? Oh, here they are. Okay. I, I was going to say, I do not know how to navigate this castle. Uh, don't tell me to run like all the way around to talk to him. Oh, hey, buddy. Okay, listen, Akra, my friend. Listen, pal. Yeah, yeah, good friend. Listen, listen. Same thing with you. Mocho, he doesn't deserve you, pal. Join me. All right. I'll give you what I can't break my oath to you. All right. I won't break my oath to you as long as you don't break your oath to me. And again, Mo Chung, he's alive. You don't need him. Join me, my friend. Join me, Akram. I gotta do this to you. All right? And put your interest in the good. See, he knows. Akram, Akram and Haranag, they on the same page, folks. They know what's going on. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can even... No, I can't. But yeah, they know what's going on. These two, they're ready to join me. They're ready to join me whenever I got the method, the means to do it. And frankly, I might just start handing them off some territory that I think uh, I think they deserve. I know I might, I might have to do my original vassals dirty, right? Someone had pointed out, why don't I give my two vassals that were the first to join me some more territory? Because frankly, to me, I want to make sure the proper people have the proper territories. Like, I want to make sure that an Asurai controls the Asurai territories, all right? I don't know, it just feels like I want to keep them down here, right? That's why I also only have one territory. Because right? it's like it's not even just them I'm doing it to. I'm doing it to myself, so it just feels real, uh, right. So I actually might end up giving Xanadu to myself just to kind of do this. And I can only, the only thing I can really think of separating the Kuzai territory is we have four cities down here, right? Xanatu to uh, Akalot. We give that to one of them, and then we give the next four cities to, like, another individual. I don't know who's going to trust me. I don't know who's going to stay with me. And I do need to find other people to go ahead and talk to, just in case I do have people who decide to betray me. Since Akram and Hurunaga were the first to actually talk to, or the first I could find to talk to, I'm going to try pulling them in first when the war starts. Um, but we'll see ultimately how that goes, because I don't know how it's always going to turn out. Uh, we're going to see if Mr. Uh, Tulog is here in his uh, city today. I don't know if he's been wounded or not, so maybe that's why um, he's not here, which is always fantastic to find, because I just don't know where this man is. I've been lied to about this game consistently. Men are never where they say they are, and it's just like, come on, at one point, do they actually come there? Or be just, just arrive? So let's see. Again, she's still not here. That's a lie. I don't know where these individuals reside or if they even exist at this point. Maybe they just are a figment of the game's imagination. The game believes they are alive, yet they are nothing but ghosts haunting the system and mere coding error that have come to haunt me in my, in my cheating ways. The God King is too much of a cheat. He's like, his powers are unfair for this realm. We, we gain our, our power and our men. Okay, let's be fair. Okay, being a Kuzite is pretty much just cheating. Like, just because you're a Kuzite. You're just too strong already. So I think that's fair. Let's see. I am curious what the Southern Empire and the, and the Asurai are doing, though. They just seem to be kind of vibing, chilling. I really don't know. Where are they? Are they at war? Maybe the Kuzets are at war, people. Is that what's happening? Oh. So they're at war with Sturgia. So that might mean their people are in the north here? Okay. So there's an army here. I still don't see any other major, like, concentrations of armies. Because there's no one in there I need to talk to. Yeah, I just don't know where the Sturgeon... I don't know where they are. The Sturgeons are trying to take back their castles. They've lost a good amount of territory, unfortunately, to the, uh, to the Vlandians. Just the one thing that... I always see the Vlandians tend to go really well into the Sturgeons. The Sturgeons just don't hold together too well. I've never really seen a major Sturgeon victory. That's not a nugget. No one here I need to talk to. Honestly, I might just take my chances. 
If I find them during the war, I'll find them. But frankly, I'm gonna do something that I should do right now. I think there's, hopefully they're still here. I'm gonna go ahead and give this city back to myself because I think we finally have the means to realistically, um, to realistically pull one of them in. I don't know who I'm gonna pull. Perhaps I'll pull in Mr. Akram first since he already owns the city. I'll try pulling him in. That might be the better call. But I'll see. We'll see. Okay, let's do it though. I'm talking, folks. I want to get this done. So this is the fastest way I can think of doing it. I'm going to give ourselves a settlement. Xanadu. Xanadu, baby. There we go. So it's under our control. So we unfortunately took it away from our other vassal. Which again, I do feel bad for. She has had it for a while. But again, I want to make sure that the appropriate cultures are ruling the appropriate places. So if you're saying, why don't you give your original vassal some territory? Just know that's that's probably why. Because we are we do have the strongest units in the game. Like, regardless. Uh, I just I actually do have two cities. I wish there was another city in that very bottom left that you can't see immediately. Um, so let's go ahead and do what we need to do here. And let's just return to war with the Kuzites. I have no support for it. All my vassals want to go to war with people who are paying money to. But in due time, we'll get to that. And eventually, it will be fine. But let's see what we can do here. And um, I want to talk to... I wish to talk to... Um, Oh my god, where did he go? I thought he was wounded. Oh, that's- wait, no, wait, where did Akram go? Oh no, wait, where did this man go? Is he at Oda? He better be at Oduk. There's a lot of people here, actually. Hello, my friend. I requested a meeting with- Oh my god, what the f- There was just everyone- Why is there so many people here now? <laughs> where do all these people come from? Um, is Akram here? Yes, Akram, my friend. I have come to speak with you. Join me, Akram. Join me, my friend. It is time. Lee, I've already convinced you, all right? You just need some proper territory, some proper income to join me. And frankly, you can have as much, you can have, what, 360K, 50K? Sure, take it. Now join us, all right? Don't make me regret this, because I'm gonna take both your territories if you betray me. And at that, at that point, it'll just go to someone else. So keep that in mind. You you turn on me. I get my stuff back. No, my boys, no, go back in. We're good on this, go back in. I want this battle done. Fight him, touch him, touch him furiously, yes. We're gonna help the party here. This is gonna be an open field battle. This is, I do love the, if there's two territories I love, I love the Asurai territory, because it's very open deserts, and I love the Kuzet territory, because it's just open plains. Archer! And it's just always fantastic. Now, Archer! let's go ahead and just, I don't yeah! really know if there's a superior position we can put ourselves on. There's a hill over there, actually, but, mm, we're gonna utilize it. We really, no, we can't actually utilize that. I actually don't, I don't know where to, I haven't fought on this map particularly all that much for me to know enough to where to put my units, so. It is open field, that is for sure, so that's always nice. Uh, Infantry. okay, well they're just charging, horse just charging their men up. We have a lot of horse archers this time around. Actually, more than they do, which is always lovely to see. Oh, uh, and they have a lot of low tier horse archers too. I say as I get my horse staff. Oh my god. You know if you see a lot of, like, a lot of blue on the Kuzak horse archers, they're like the low tier horse archers. Because if you see some brown of them, they're the higher tier ones. If you see a lot of blue, it's like they're the, like, just the, the basic nomads, I think. Okay, hey buddies. I'm trying to, I don't know what's going on. Which ones are our horse archers? Those are our horse archers. Okay. So they have pretty much pulled back after suffering uh, almost 20 casualties on the horse archers. I'm actually going to move everyone up to this hill here. No casualties suffered on our side yet, which is always fantastic. So yeah, we have a nice hill here that we can utilize to our advantage. It's not much of a hill, Forward! but it isn't. I'm sorry? Footman, move! Motherfucker? Horse, horse Did you really just do that? <laughs> We're going to move our horse archers, uh, horse archers to the side over there. They're actually coming back for another charge, it looks like, which is very interesting. Stuff, this is the fucker who stabbed me. You stabbed my horse, asshole. Come here. I want you specifically. You have, you have incurred my wrath. You're lucky I didn't hit your horse. So yeah, they're gonna be charging their infantry or their cavalry here again. Um, some of them you don't even have. I mean, okay, uh, Jesus, they're gonna. I don't even. What is? What was the plan here? I mean, they're shooting at our horse archers over there. Oh my god, I have to keep. I need a drink again. I got the. I got the congestion. Ah. Ah. There we go. I'm good. No, I'm not. I'm not good. Yeah, I'm good. I don't even know anymore. They're just shooting. But they didn't. Okay, this is a good... Who's shooting my archers? How are my archers getting shot? And now they're just riding in my... 
They're just riding into my infantry? Did they really just cavalry charge that? I mean, like, to each their own, but did that not just cost you a bunch of horse archers? Like, that just seemed like it was such a bad, bad move. You have three men who made it out of that. And I'm not gonna let one of these guys get back to the line, so you're not making it. And, hell, you're not making it. Are they, ch oh, don't tell me they're charging with the cavalry now, too. Don't tell me. No, what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Oh my god, no. Oh, just, oh, that horse did not send a chance. I'm just gonna let the archers do the job here. This one guy, I don't want him. That was a chick. I just heard a chick's grunt. Okay, come on. No. But that, that's a couch lance. We don't do couch lance. That was gonna be very, very deadly for the next one. I did a lot of damage to my horse. My horse is not as durable as me. Let's see. Well, that was pretty much the entirety of their cavalry force. Just obliterated. They have actually no cavalry left. You know what, folks? I feel like we get the... I want to give the Kuzites a taste of their own medicine. Alright, I want them to know how it feels. To have, just to be swarmed by horse archers. I think that's appropriate. I think that's a very good thing. I'm actually going to move the soldiers up. But yeah, let's see, let's see the horse archers do some work here. And they got a lot of men. They're in a very interesting formation here. I don't even know why they're so loose, actually. I mean, this just allowed me to do this. I, I mean, like... Oh, this isn't good. My horse is hurting. My horse is in pain. I mean, like, this is... Well, like, you, you see why this is, like... Oh, they actually got one of them off the horse. We're gonna lose some horse archers here, but I just want them to know how much it hurts. How much it's... How annoying it is to be swarmed by horse archers. That's what I want them to feel. I want them to feel the pain that horse archers are. Except if my horse archers would not ride through the horde, like... Where are my footmen? Oh, they're gonna charge my bowmen. Oh, well I guess the bowmen are getting this right of it. I don't, I don't know what I... Jesus, like it's just... We're gonna lose some, we're gonna lose some bowmen. That, that's to be expected. I don't care though. We actually haven't lost any- we haven't taken any deaths yet in my party, which is interesting. Of course, other parties have taken deaths, but not mine. It is- it's just fun. It's just great. This is great fun. The horse archers- did, how, much, how many kills will the horse archers get? Over 100. If I'm doing my math right. But Tammy and Fimo, Fimo actually got a lot of kills too. Interesting. I didn't think they'd get so many kills. Oh, I just, I just, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna attack them here. I just wanna watch the arrows come in. Uh, see this is- uh, see this is just just- this is medic- oh. Mm, a taste of their own medicine, folks. It's be it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Oh, they never even got away. There's just someone over here, apparently. What is going on over here? Why is there just... What, what is happening? I, I don't even know who's... There's a, a, I see a Kuzite right there on the ground. Ooh. Let's just... Okay, is he dead? Did we win now? <laughs> he was the last guy. Oh, they never stood a chance. No, that was just brutal. Hey, they're, they're happy with me. These people, they like what I just did. Hundred million. Yana, I'll let you go. Alright, just because I like, I want to talk to your mother. I don't even know who you are, but I'll let you go as well. We took no casualties, surprisingly. I was expecting to take a few horse archer casualties. I did want to kind of lose, not gonna lie, I did kind of want to lose a few of my um, female amount of bowmen to replace them with the Kuzite Noble Lines. Because, I mean, again, Kuzite Noble Lines, oof, they are something else. And frankly, I'm actually. I might just do that. The heavy cab, but what are their skills like? 130 bow and 130 riding. What about the Usulari? 130 bow, 120 riding. So actually, if I'm gonna get rid of anyone, I should start with the Usulari. And since I can pull in three Khan's guards, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna start replacing them with these uh, superior. I got I got the Kuzites, best horse archers in the game, hands down. Just best unit in the game is the Khan's guard. I just, I'm sorry. I just love the unit. It just, even if it's not statistically the best, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I just, I think it is. So I'm, I'm sticking with that. I, don't, I like that. I like that. That's a nice little battle, folks. All right. It was a nice little battle. We actually didn't get this much done. We didn't get that much done this episode, folks. I'm realizing. All we really did was manage to find a few people, talk to them, and have a, just a nice little battle. But I guess that's a nice way to not end off the video. Hopefully next video will go by a little bit faster. I do want to see if I can pull in a few more vassals. 
Um, obviously, we have Mr. Uh, Mr. Huronag to talk to if we can find him and pull him to our side. Otherwise, we'll have to find someone else. I don't even know if that's not even him here, so it doesn't matter. But we still want to find some other people just in case these two decide to betray me at any point in time. I will take the territory back with commands, but I want to see what I can do. So I don't know. We'll have to take some more territory here. Unfortunately, probably go to the south, actually. Maybe take Makeb because I want to have the two uh, split up between north and south. Pretty much at the line. Pretty much right here, I think is where the line goes. Because one, two, three, four cities. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, I think that's what we'll do, folks. Unfortunately, again, not much happened this episode, but next episode maybe or perhaps will be a bit more um, a bit more eventful. We'll always see. Things change. And um, yeah, frankly, I have nothing else for this video. If you liked what you saw and you want to see more in the future, folks, you know what to do. This is Benjamin Quills, and I'll see you folks in the next one.